Hello, so this is just a quick um, memory note for me on how I uh, used the information I could get to hack endless space to make it actually endless as opposed to ending at 150 turns on fast or 300 turns on normal and ending randomly when someone does something silly in the economic victories or some other victory. So what you need to get hold of is ZZip, 7-Zip. 7-Zip file manager, go and get that and download it. And you need to get hold of XML Notepad 2007 from uh, Windows, which is uh, Microsoft, which is great. It's an XML editor. And what you do is uh, you save a game, you copy it and paste it. Unzip it, right click, 7z, uh, extract, open archive, it brings up the actual thing and then you extract it wherever you like. Um, and then it's a great big file compared to the compressed file. You open that up in XML Editor. Alright, there's a couple of things, um, game description change that to hack or whatever you want. Uh, modification. No. You can change the turn. So if you're near the end of 150 or 300 you can turn that down to 10. Something like that. So it just resets the clock so you can keep going. Game settings. You can change all the victories off. Otherwise you get random victories. We can keep the supremacy one. That's the capital cities. Empires, Empire 1 was mine, I think it's normally the one, your one, um, and then you just do a search for overproduction, Uh, 
So you make sure you've got a decent amount of money and then close. We'll save it, no, file save and then minimise and then bring up the folder of your save games which is documents and the space design you save. Then you right click the XML file, Z zip it and then compress it. Attention to dot bin, BZ, bzip to compression, uh, bin it to dot bin and OK, and to create your new save game. Then load the game and load the save game. That's what it means to it.